I'm about to unbox a bag that Kate Middleton owns two of. Hi, it's Jen. Welcome to this channel. I have yet another handbag unboxing for you today, and I am excited because it's a brand I've never tried before, but it is very popular with the British Royals. So I thought, hey, how can you go wrong with that? This I ordered from Saks Fifth Avenue. It's from a brand called Strathberry, which is based in Scotland, and all of the handbags are handcrafted in Spain, and I love these designs. So I ordered a pink bag, so let's open this up here. And I happened to hit a sale. There are quite a few different outlets that sell this bag. You can get it from the Strathbury website. You can order it from Nordstrom's, Saks Fifth Avenue, I believe Neiman Marcus. So I got mine from Saks Fifth Avenue because they were having a sale on the one I wanted and I got Rakuten cash back. Links are below. Yes, they are affiliate, but I paid for this myself. I got a hell of a deal on this. The one thing, ordering it from Saks, now you do not get the Strathberry box and packaging, but I did get the dust bag and a little care booklet. So here it is. This is the little care guide. You can probably tell already this is going to be a small purse and it is, of course, my favorite color, pink. This one is called the Moultrie's Croc Embossed Wallet on Chain. It is so adorable. I love the Strathberry gold hardware and most of the bags have this signature bar on it, which I think is just super cool. I like how understated this bag is. Apparently Strathberry is considered like a contemporary luxury handbag line and the prices are actually pretty affordable. The full retail price of this particular bag is about $3.99 USD, but I happened to hit a great sale and I paid $213. So I got almost half off, plus I got a little Rakuten cash back, so not too bad there. And I love how versatile this purse is. I've never actually owned a Croc embossed leather bag before, so let me know if you have any care tips down in the comments. But I love how understated this is. The logo is very small. It doesn't scream like, rob me. And I just like the way it looks. This color is called Caledonian pink, and there is a magnetic clasp here. So it kind of looks like you can slide the flap in and out of the bar, but that's actually a little bit deceptive. It's got this little magnetic clasp. There is a strap inside. It is removable. It is not adjustable, but you could also use a different strap if you wanted to. Check out this light gold hardware though. Isn't this gorgeous? I also love how the chain detail is a little bit more unique than I've seen in other bags. There is a matching croc embossed leather section at the top here. There are little lobster clasps here. So that's how you attach the strap to these D-rings. This already has a tag on it. And I noticed that the bag is mostly leather lined, which is great. Let's see, let me measure this. It's about eight inches long by four and a half inches tall. And it's just a hair over one inch deep. You can see there's some nice kind of maroon burgundy colored glazing. And the lining is actually mostly leather. So there's kind of a light colored blush leather here. There are card slots. There are one, two, three, four. There's eight card slots. There's this little middle section. And then there is a little zippered compartment here. The only part of the bag that's not actual leather is this little lining of the zipper section, but that's you know really not a deal breaker there at all. I think that's fine. It's got a little leather tab on the zipper. Zipper zips up very smooth. And you can wear it in a number of ways. So the first way you could wear it is just as your standard clutch. This would be great for an evening out or if you're going to a wedding or another more like formal dressy event. And I also really like that this brand isn't super like oversaturated as far as everyone has one. So I think there's a little bit of a mystique to Strathberry that I like. You could also use this as a wallet in a larger bag. So I have the Rebecca Minkoff Morning After Bag 2.0 Satchel and this would actually fit very nicely inside there. So you could use it as a small leather good and you could certainly attach a shorter strap to make it more of a shoulder bag. But let me attach the strap it comes with. I just think this is so cute. The other thing is I could use this strap on other bags if I wanted to. I love that these designers are making the straps removable. I think that's a great, great trend to see. All right, let's attach this here. All right, here we go. The D-rings can also be tucked inside too when you're carrying it as a clutch. Here it is like 
as a shoulder bag on me. It hits around my hip, so it's fairly low, but I could also crossbody it, so let's do that. Excuse the sweatpants, it's what I wear 99% of the time. Here it is crossbody. I think that looks really cute. I could actually even wear this during the day if I'm just going out somewhere and don't need to carry a lot. I love the color, it's very different. It's called Caledonian Pink. I don't know why, but that's what it's called. I also feel like this pink isn't too super loud, so it does act as more of a neutral. I think there's a lot of outfits I could wear this bag with, but again, I could just take off the strap and wear it as a clutch or also use it, use it as a wallet. So there's at least four different ways you could use this bag. It hits right about at my hip bone here, and I'm about 5'4 for reference. And I do have to confess, I was a bit motivated to get this bag after I saw photos of Kate Middleton, now known as Catherine, Princess of Wales. She has this exact bag in two different colors. She owns it in navy and black, and she's been seen carrying this bag on several different occasions. I think it looks great on her, and I love that Kate has been carrying some more approachable brands. She's also been seen with Mulberry bags and also Aspinall of London. Those prices I find a little bit more reasonable than some of the like uber designers like Louis Vuitton or Chanel. So as more of the everyday person myself, it is pretty cool to see Kate carrying contemporary designer bags that aren't super expensive. So I was like, okay, I gotta get this one. But what do you think about the Strathbury line? Have you seen some of the bags? Meghan Markle, her sister-in-law, has also been spotted carrying the midi tote, which looks super cool, and uh, the like mini east-west bag. That one isn't quite my style, but I do really like that tote tote bag. The tote bag has like the bar and it comes over the handle. I think it's super chic looking and just very unique. I'm pretty curious about that. There are a few different sizes. I'm kind of interested in the nano size of that bag and that one is a little under $500. But I've also seen Strathberry and other retailers that carry the brand have quite a few sales, especially in the more seasonal colors. So you don't really have to pay, pay full price for these bags. You can find deals. These do go on sale occasionally. They can be combined with like the Neiman Marcus gift card event or as I mentioned earlier, Rakuten cashback. So there are a few ways to save money on these bags. I think the craftsmanship and the quality of the Strathberry bag, it's really nice, especially for the price. I'm really impressed and I really like how the interior is mostly leather. I feel like it's gonna be a little easier to keep clean and I just think that's, you know, just a, a sign of quality, but I really love, I just love this little bag. Isn't this so cute? Oh. I feel like Elle Woods from Legally Blonde with this thing or something, I don't know. If you're not already familiar with Strathberry, I would highly encourage you to check out the website, follow them on social media because they've got a lot of great designs for bags and I just, I think they're so elegant and classy. I just, I feel classier by like a few points by carrying this right now. So if you've never heard of the brand, I think they're definitely worth a go. As far as contemporary designers, are concerned. I think this is a very under the radar brand still, although I'm really glad to see they're getting so much press from all of these like royal photo ops. So I think that's really cool. But let me know what you think about this bag and these Strathberry collections in general down below in the comments and check out some of my other bag videos while you're here. I've done a few and I know this is quickly turning into a purse channel. Anyways, I'm Jen and I'll see you again in the next video.